Reza Riahi, you directed the animated short, The Musician, which tells the story of two lovers separated for decades by uh, the Mongol invasion and occupation of Persia in the 13th century. Uh, what made you want to tell a story set during this particular period of history? Um, well, um, when I started to do the first draft, I was listening to the, this um, instrument called Camonche. That's the, the, uh, the instrument that actual, actually the musician plays in the, um, the film. And when I was listening to this uh, very particular instrument, I was really drawn by the by the part of mysterious and mystical part of this instrument. And I started to do the first draft. And um, the other part was I studied, um, before I finished my study in animation, I, I first studied in painting in Tehran, in Iran. And uh, back then I was really drawn into all the uh, miniature, Persian miniatures and all the history about uh, the lovers and kings and uh, everything about them. And uh, I was very drawn by this very classical way, but also the same pattern that was repeating itself by in now is in, in nowadays countries uh, by the by the government and all the how the, how the um, these uh, decisions impact the individuals' lives. So I started to do to started to write this film, this uh, this story, and uh, knowing that um, you know the the Mongolian attack was has a huge impact. Uh, in this region, uh, not just Persia, I mean the whole region, um, and, uh, and still resonated today. So it was this kind of the pattern that I was going to, going to uh, create, but I know that it's something that actually it talks for today's, uh, as we, we saw that recently, the like Taliban and all, all the stuff that is going back and forth, and uh, the, the people of the Middle East are paying for it. And, and also the fact that I was very drawn, I was very struck by this uh, story of the resilience of the people of this region, that they keep hoping, having hope and going forward as uh, I consider myself one of them because I, 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 I moved back, I moved to France after um, uh, 20 years, uh, growing up in Iran. And um, it's kind of the story of the resilience that we still try to do something about, about it. Like I, we still paint, do music, do film, tell our stories, even though uh, the situation is not the same as, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and how did you develop the different styles visually in the film? Because you, you, know, you have the scenes in the palace um, that are you know, in color and, and you have a, a slightly different style in, in the flashback scenes of the invasion. Uh, how did you develop those, those different looks? Well, well the, the main one, the colored one, very based on the Persian miniature was one, my main influence. And so I started to, I, mean, I studied this, but I, I started to really dig into all, all the, uh, the looks and all the old, very old paintings. And to, to be able to talk, talk about the, the kind of the flashbacks of these uh, two people, of uh, lovers. So I, uh, I was inspired by the uh, Chinese puppets show um, that is very dark and very silhouette and the lights is very different. And uh, to be able to have some part of very uh, blurry uh, memories of the past that is not so clear, but we, we can see the very efficient stuff. And um, so I, I, in, from the beginning, I know that there is two techniques, but it was obvious choice, but uh, it wasn't obvious to do because I never done, I never done this technique, uh, paper cutout. So I started to do all the research from everything started with the paper. I went to the store, um, um, uh, art store and I bought so many papers for months and tried everything to make sure that's what's going to happen then the animator is going to you know play around you know it's a stop motion so everything's happening in front of the camera and uh, so it, it took me months to be able to to achieve to this to do this uh, final render and um, and I know from the beginning it's going to be to different style, but um, it wasn't obvious. It wasn't obvious in the beginning to, to achieve this. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, this story, uh, you tell it w without uh, spoken dialogue. So there's so much of the you know the illustration and the uh, just the imagery has to communicate so much even more. Uh, uh, what what was it like trying to achieve that kind of eloquence uh, just in the images without without uh, dialogue? 
Yeah, that was that was the first challenge when I started started to do the storyboard. But but I I, I loved it very much because I, I I loved this challenge because I really wanted to aim to to every culture that can can see this film without any dialogue, without any language, without any translation or subtitle. They can understand some some, some the, the emotions of the film. And also, um, I, I know that I mean I choose the music, so the music is the language of it's international music uh, language. So I was aiming for this, and I had a chance to work with a very great musician, uh, Sabo Alizadeh. That's uh, he's um, son of the one of the greatest uh, heritage of the Persian music, and uh, and the only voice of the film is actually his film is uh, his score. So he was the actual the actual actor. The invisible actor of the film, so I was really depending on the um, on the on the sound on the music of the of the Sabo's uh, instrument. Uh, one of the uh, most uh, striking sequences in the film, uh, you know, you're uh, intercutting the uh, invasion with scenes of celebration, and you know, going back and forth between them. Uh, like, was that uh, challenging to craft, or or what was uh, what what inspired that? Um, that was a core part when I started to write the film. I know I, I really wanted to have this feeling of the back and forth. I, I did that in some mud either film and in my future film, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to put this setting. And the, uh, the challenging part was that when I do the animatic and the storyboard, uh, we had to do the animation, uh, the music in the same time, like they like finished, finished music, because the animators, they have to animate on the music and everything should be match uh, precisely to to the to the to the image so that was um, that was a huge challenge actually as you mentioned because uh, the musician he, he was working in Tehran in Iran and we were based in France in Paris and uh, it was I was going back and forth with the, with the, with the visuals animatic and, and the musician and the producers to to, to be, be able to have um, this quality of the music that matches the images and um, we fortunately uh, had uh, very good help in the storyboard with, uh, with a friend of mine. And we, uh, we had so many meetings and uh, we, we finally we, we were able to finish this one. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the, the faces uh, on your characters, the expressions are, are very expressive and, and uh, uh, communicate uh, so much as well. Uh, tell me about designing those characters and, and yeah. making them come to life. Uh, well, it wasn't obvious because of the cutouts. Cutouts uh, technique doesn't give you that much of this uh, uh, this opportunity of to, to communicate through the um, through the emotion of the faces or all all the, the eyes and movements. Uh, so uh, I came up with the technique of the having the kind of um, uh, plastic. Uh, paper that, that I treated and I put in every puppets. There was, I have to say, there's over 200 puppets and so many, so many details of the film to to be make them the store and all the animated. It took it took a while, and uh, so we came up with this. I came up with this this technique that animators they were drawing same time on the paper uh, on the plastic and that at the same time they were moving the character in front of the camera. So it was like a double task for the animators. It's something, I mean, stop motion is always challenging, uh, but uh, like for this one, we had to have this emotion, this communication, we didn't have any dialogue. So there was music, whether the gestures and also this communication between these, uh, these three characters from the past and the future, uh, the present. So we need to have this, so um, it, it, it came up with, the, with this technique. What inspired you, uh, you know, just to, to tell stories through animation in the first place and, and to get into animation? Well, I started to, uh, I was a caricaturist from the beginning and I was a cartoonist. And then uh, I, I, I started to study painting, miniature and uh, classical painting. And after that, little by little, I started to write the stories. And um, sort of one of my friends told me that, you have to do comic history because you know you tell the story and you have a good you draw any good images. So I started to do that and I studied in France, uh, one of the greatest school uh, in France. And after that, I was I really, really needed the rhythm and the music and the dialogue, and uh, very automatically, I mean naturally, I come to animation. The solution was animation, 
So I write my stories and I, I draw them myself. And uh, so that's, <laughs> that's it. Uh, well, oh, congratulations on uh, the musician. Uh, congratulations on uh, being shortlisted for the Oscar for Best Animated Short. Um, and uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you about it. Yeah, thank you very much.